Welcome back on this finally Friday, just minutes after 5 o'clock, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed as we head into Easter weekend. That low pressure that we talked about last night is already kind of sitting over our area, hence the cooler temperatures that we saw today. And our dust streams really kind of push in and bring us some of that onshore flow, meaning a lot of this Pacific moisture, cooler temperatures will move inland for us. We are live right outside the studio in Springfield. I kind of came to work today looking like Paddington Bear. I think I'm getting used to this rain, as are most of the people out there. By Wednesday, you see this three-day stretch, and we actually have some sunshine in the forecast. Not good news for those of you wanting to go out and whale watch, because they know it's pretty difficult when it is windy. But by Saturday, I think most of the wind gusts will be dying down. When we're talking isolated showers, we're talking very focused areas. Friday morning is really where we're focused on. You can see most of those showers continuing to surround the valley area. Push that air, that Pacific moisture, the cool temperatures all inland. You can see this ridge here just moving to the east. That means high pressure is out of the area, as are those warm temperatures. Happy Sunday night to you. Another wacky weekend of weather. As we mentioned earlier, the snow was reported today. Hail was reported today. I went from Eugene to Junction City to the Daffodil Drive and went through it all as well in that very small drive. And I know a lot of people out there reporting the same thing. Things are starting to change here a little bit. We saw the snow already, but we're going to see a little bit more of it tonight and into tomorrow. That low pressure that we talked about last night is already kind of sitting over our area, hence the cooler temperatures that we saw today. We will continue to be unseasonably cold into tomorrow. And then you see this frontal system, and that's a warm front passing through. So that's where the majority of our rain is going to come from as it continues to lead into that front. And then about midweek or so after that front passes through, we'll start to see some warm or temperatures in here, but don't worry, the rain is really sticking around. We're two days away from spring. We've said this more than once or so. These snow levels, let's really break it down here because I know a lot of people obviously going into Monday morning, we're heading back to school, we're heading back to work. Yes, we're going to see that lower elevation snow one more time at least. So that could mean some coastal snow into tomorrow, also some heavy mountain snow and a very low wind chill toward that area as well. Those snow levels were about the 900 mark earlier today. So we're going to see those drop to about 700 feet, 800 feet into tomorrow. Areas like Corvallis here in Eugene, Springfield, Junction City will likely see the snow again tomorrow. I'm going to leave that window open until about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning that we're going to see that white stuff. And then after that point, as those temperatures start to rise, we start to see those higher temperatures, probably in the mid to upper 40s tomorrow, we'll see it turn to rain. Now take a look, here's future cast. It's not really going to break down rain versus snow for you, but you at least see the moisture. As of Sunday night tonight, 7 o'clock, you see most of that moisture that we saw earlier is already moving out of the area. We see increasing clouds, we get a small break, and then we get more rain going into Monday. Now here's these warmer temperatures, but also the heavier showers as that front is passing through Tuesday morning. We're going to see those showers start to pick up and be a little bit more consistent. Tuesday, Wednesday, looking like it's going to be the big batch of rain that we're going to see for the week. We decrease to about a chance on Friday. Take a look at tomorrow if you're waking up along the coast. Again, that snow is possible. We're keeping that breeze tomorrow. Onshore flow making it look like we're going to see more gusts into the afternoon. A little bit of sunshine, hopefully, near dinner time and then mostly cloudy overnight. We see those flurries earlier on, but we're seeing the wind through Tuesday. We get rid of most of that rain by Thursday. Thursday afternoon, mostly cloudy conditions going into the weekend. Here's Roseburg. You can take a look. Rain showers pretty much the entire day. 49 degrees. That snow toward the southern area. Not so likely, but also possible. We're going to see that rain at least Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. We're back down to a chance likely to be scattered there as well. Corvallis also very wet tomorrow. Going to see some of that snow early on, and then it's turning to rain into the afternoon. Eugene and Springfield also seeing the white stuff early on, probably until about 11 o'clock. Like I said, by lunchtime, we're going to be merely rain. And into the afternoon, we're going to see those showers become a bit more scattered. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, again, that big batch of rain that we're seeing with that warm front. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, less rain, but still the chance. So welcome to spring. And welcome back in this 11 o'clock hour. A relatively cloudy day for our Saturday. Of course, we have tons of things going on this week, but we're going to see some of that rain move in as early as tomorrow. We'll call it mild with cooler temperatures. Take a look at the jet stream here. This is Futurecast. We'll start at this earlier on tonight. We have this system here that's really starting to deepen as it does, so it's really going to push that air, that Pacific moisture, the cool temperatures all inland. You can see this ridge here just moving 
moving to the east. That means high pressure is out of the area, as are those warm temperatures. Inland, we're going to see a little bit of a breeze along the coast, probably here in Eugene as well. So if you're headed out, I would say take a jacket, especially the Rhododendron Festival, and also bark in the park as we're going to start off pretty cool in the morning. Satellite showing again that system really starting to develop here. So as we start to see that cold front move in for tomorrow night, that occluded front on Monday, again, cool temperatures really the key here as we've seen the warm temperatures in the past couple of weeks. And of course, these dry conditions since May 4th, we really cannot complain as far as the moisture goes because we actually kind of need it at this point. But those of you that are hoping to see that eclipse tomorrow night, I would say probably a 50-50 chance as we could see one scenario or the other. We're either going to see those clouds move in tomorrow morning and then thin out into tomorrow evening, or we could see them move in later on. And in that case, we're not going to see too much of this eclipse here. Of course, we're calling the ring of fire. We're going to see it between 515 and 715 tomorrow evening. Again, if those clouds thin out. But of course, do not look directly at it. If you head outside, I think they're selling glasses at some of the nearby stores here. So I would definitely suggest you check that out. Future cash showing again that rain really ahead of the cold front. We're going to see it as early as probably about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, right in time for that grand floral parade in Florence. But on Monday, as you head back to work and school, that's where really when we're going to see the pack of the moisture. Here we are, 20% chance into the afternoon tomorrow along the coast. We'll call it mid to upper 40s tomorrow for majority of the day, looking to be more cloudy overnight as we head into Monday. On and off showers throughout the week, cloudy by the weekend though, again teetering on that 60 degree mark. Roseburg looking to be a little bit more dry tomorrow than most places. 78 degrees, not cooling down just yet, but likely to on Monday. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast for you. Again, 10 degrees cooler than our Sunday. And then we get back down to the mid 60s as we head into midweek. We'll call Wednesday on a chance of rain, mostly cloudy skies. Corvallis looking to stay relatively wet tomorrow as we're going to see some of those showers move in probably right about lunchtime. I would say Portland could even see some hail about midweek in those northern areas. Same thing. Eugene and Springfield, I think we'll hold off on that for a bit, but we are going to see some of those showers. 71 degrees into the afternoon. Again, staying a little bit cool for Bark in the Park tomorrow morning, but in the afternoon. Hopefully we'll see a little bit of sunshine, but again, those showers really starting to move through here. Here's your seven day forecast. Again, chance of rain pretty much every day. The bulk of those showers Monday and Tuesday.